Right, in this video tutorial we're going to take a look at the keyboard for the Blackberry Playbook. Um, you'll also be able to get a better idea for the size of the device as I've got the video zoomed out a little bit compared to the other videos that I've taken. Um, if you want to pull up the, the keyboard you can either tap into a text field or if you want to manually open or close the keyboard you just swipe up from the bottom corner here. Um, you'll notice that you can hit all of the keys um, with your thumbs very comfortably on the device. Um, this is actually my preferred method of typing. Or if you want to set the keyboard down, you can actually type pretty comfortably on the device while it's set down with all of your fingers. Um, again, my preference is to do the thumb typing, especially when I'm on the bus or out and about. I can just hold the device upright and type. And then here's how the keyboard looks, um, a different orientation, a little bit smaller, but again, still doable with all of your thumbs. I would not recommend typing um, at this point with all of your fingers. It's a little bit smaller, closer to the size of um, more of a cell phone keyboard, slightly bigger than that. Uh, and then if you go into the symbols, you've got all of your symbols right there, alternate symbols, um, your backspace, return, all the common functionality that you would find on a keyboard. Um, and then in here versus a web browser, you'll notice that the keyboard changed slightly to add a .com, a question mark, and a colon, and the slashes built right in compared to um, being in here where they remove some of that functionality um, you know, more specific to where you're typing.